Kane requests Stinger to help rescue Jupiter as he is only one who can fight alongside him against the Warhammers. Kane and Stinger fly together in their spaceship highly modified with shields and advanced weapons. As they approach Titus's ship the Warhammers are released. They overcome the obstacle together with their full power. They engage in a fierce fight to overcome the challenges posed by the Warhammer. They are able to dodge their attacks and strike back with precise and powerful blows, with laser fire and sparks flying all around. Despite her reservations, Jupiter proceeds with the ceremony, and the two exchange vows. Titus wears his ring on his finger. Jupiter nearly has hers printed on her. However, just as they are about to seal the union, Cain bursts into the scene and interrupts the wedding. He approaches Jupiter and Titus on the platform and informs Jupiter that Titus intends to murder her. They have Titus under arrest, but Jupiter just wants to go home. Meanwhile Balaam sends Gregan, his lizard rat hybrid henchman, to Earth with other Sargons to break into Jupiter's family's home and capture them. Jupiter realizes this when she returns home, forcing her to return to deep space and save her family. Jupiter arrives at a mining facility on the planet inhabited by Balaam. The Aegis are close behind her, but they are unable to enter because the planet is shielded. Jupiter is brought before Balaam. The meeting takes place in Balaam's opulent palace. Balaam greets her with cold hostility and tries to convince her to sign over her inheritance rights. Jupiter, initially bewildered by the strange situation, rejects Balaam's offer and refuses to surrender her claim to the kingdom. Balaam becomes increasingly hostile and reveals his true intentions to eliminate Jupiter and maintain his control over the universe. Balaam shows her the family floating and sleeping in stasis in the floor beneath them, while the henchmen prepare to splice into them. Balaam uses a special contract to force Jupiter to sign over her rights to rule over Earth if she wants to keep her family alive. Cain breaches the planet's shield with the assistance of Stinger. Singh warns him that his mission could result in his death, but she praises him for his bravery. Cain speed pasts against strong hurricanes that acts as shielding mechanism for Balaam's facility and blasts his ship through a refinery. Jupiter, her hand hovering above the document that will affirm her abdication, stops just short. There's a problem with the gravity hull protecting Balaam's factory as it's just been breached by Cain. Balaam unleashes a horde of genetically engineered creatures to fight against Cain. With Sargorn serving as the last line of defense for Balaam's empire, seeing Cain coming to her aid, Jupiter refuses and destroys the contract. Balaam is about to have her shot when she falls through a hole Cain made in the floor. Cain gets her a gun and a kiss, Cain shoots and blocks and kicks the dragons as Jupiter carts her family into a safer position. She runs around looking for an exit as Balaam chases her, while Balaam attempts to kill Jupiter. But it's Jupiter who gets the next laugh, shooting him in the leg. Cain engages in a fierce and intense battle with Sargorn. Cain killed the other Sargorns before Gregan attacked him. As the shield is destroyed the Aegis cruiser makes its way into the facility to assist Jupiter and Cain. A large explosion takes place and a huge pillar falls from above and breaks the ground structure taking both Balaam and Jupiter with it in a free fall. Cain using his advanced combat skills and shield to defend himself against Gregan's attacks. He overcomes Gregan's powerful strikes and eventually manages to deliver a finishing blow. After a long intense battle, Gregan wound up blinded in one eye, had one of his wings broken and a spike driven through his tail. Angry and hurt, he moved in to make Cain pay for injuring him. As he did, he was tripped and thrown through an opening in the floor, which Cain then sealed on him, breaking his neck and killing him. Jupiter and Balaam, both of them navigate the facility's complex environment, Jupiter running and leaping across crumbling infrastructure. Balaam suddenly appears and swings a pole at Jupiter. He repeatedly strikes her in the back until Jupiter rips open the leg wound from when she shot him earlier. Inevitably, Balaam confesses to killing his mother. He says that because she hated her life, she urged him to kill her. Jupiter, who is going to strangle Balaam to death while standing over him, exclaims, I am not your mother, and throws the pole into the air. 
Balaam plunges to his death from the platform, and Jupiter is on the verge of falling as well, but Cain flies in once more to save her. The entire infrastructure is destroyed and is in flames. The Aegis cannot sustain the damage any longer and have set a portal. Cain carries Jupiter as the portal is about to close. Everyone is able to safely escape the crumbling facility just in the nick of time with the assistance of the Aegis. Jupiter and her family are returned home. Jupiter continues her work and has prepared breakfast and coffee for her family. They astounded her by bringing out the brass telescope she had requested. Jupiter joins Cain on another building's roof. Jupiter chooses not to inform her family that she essentially owns Earth. After his heroic deeds, he has his wings restored to his back, and she has her own pair of hover boots. They kiss before taking off over the city.